Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Carlos and today we're going to be taking a look at a gaming mouse. Now this gaming mouse comes in at almost uh, $12.99. Yep, $12.99. That is what is currently listed on Amazon as of right now for this video. And according to the Moo Tracker app that I have, I, I, I can't remember the tracker. It pretty much says that this is the lowest point this mouse has ever gotten to in terms of price. The highest it's ever been has been around $16 or $17. So it's still in an expensive gaming mouse. And back when I was in high school, I would have killed for a gaming mouse like this. Why? Because I was pretty much spending all my money on PC bills and I would cheat out on getting a keyboard, gaming mouse, and monitor because I cared more about my PC build being faster and being able to run Crisis. So let's go ahead and get started with this gaming mouse. All right guys, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've never heard of this mouse. This is the Easy SMX V18 gaming mouse. So this comes in the typical black and red color scheme that pretty much everybody and their mom when they start building PCs is the color scheme that they go for, which is black and red. So this also comes with some red LEDs. You guys can see it with the color scheme that it's going for. So the one thing about this is that you are not able to turn off that color scheme. So it's always gonna be flashing red whenever you're playing games which is not a big deal. I kind of like the flashy colors that it has. And the overall build is completely plastic. It's a plastic mouse. It's a very lightweight gaming mouse. And the best part about this is that it does include some weight. So you're able to add some weight to the gaming mouse depending on your preference. This is one of the biggest features that I used to love back in my Logitech G5 and G500 mouses. The ability to make your mouse even more lighter or even more heavier, it's a very nice option and it's a great feature to have, especially on this inexpensive gaming mouse. So this gaming mouse also does come with some customizable buttons. Right here you have your DPI buttons where you're able to switch your DPI all the way to 4000 and all the way to 100. So you're easily able to do that on the fly. There's also a top left button at the very top, which is another customizable button that you guys can edit via software or inside your game settings. And of course you always have those nice buttons on the side, which I use a lot for my web browsers to go forward and back. And of course I use them for gaming. Now, I didn't know this, there was this button right next to my thumb. I didn't know what it was for. I did not know what the hell it was doing there, but I figured it out. When I was playing Battlefield, for many of you guys who don't know, I like to play Battlefield a lot. That's my favorite game, but I'm always playing at a very high DPI setting. That's just the way I prefer to play. But when it comes to sniping, especially in Battlefield, it's a little bit difficult for me because I always have to lower my DPI because I just can't play as a sniper with a very high DPI. Now I found out that that button right there is a sniper button. Now this button pretty much reduces your DPI to a very low setting when you hold it. So when I'm holding it, I'm able to get that perfect clean nice shot. And as soon as I let go of the button, it just resets back to my DPI settings which I previously had it. So it's a very nice feature to have. I really like that button placement, so I've been using it a lot, especially in Battlefield. So this mouse also has a little bit of grip on the sides. That way when you're playing for long periods of hours, the mouse is not gonna slip out of your hands. Of course, it's not as fancy as a Logitech G700 where it has this nice coating on it, but Another than less, this gaming mouse is an extreme performer, and I also like the fact that it comes with a braided cable. Now most Gaming mouses at this price category don't come with a braided cable. You pretty much have to spend a little bit over $30 or $40 to get that nice feature. Now when it comes to the accuracy of this gaming mouse, I haven't had any issues. I've been easily able to kill my opponents in Battlefield because that's the game I've mostly been playing and it's been performing really great with me. Especially when I lift up the mouse, the mouse doesn't go all berserk compared to other cheaper gaming mouses. Of course, this is already inexpensive. Like how more cheaper can you really get? But I tested other mouses that usually when you lift them off the table, they go berserk and they just start going either to the left or right, especially when I'm playing a game like Battlefield. But what I really like about this gaming mouse is that it comes with a braided cable, comes with a bunch of different customizable buttons. DPI switches on the fly, that sniper button, the weights, I mean, that pretty much starts to sound like a really expensive gaming mouse, but when you look at the price, it's really inexpensive. I wish I could pick this back up in high school back in 2009, 2010. I would have been really happy with this gaming mouse. 
Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything around that back in high school. I was using even cheaper mouses, but mouses that even have buttons like this. So anyways, guys, links are going to be down below so you guys can go ahead and pick up this mouse. So this pretty much does it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about using inexpensive gaming mouse compared to more expensive gaming mouse. What are your thoughts about this? Anyways, for me, I'll catch you guys on the next ones. Make sure to follow me on social media, Snapchat at Mobile Carlos, Twitter at Mobile Carlos, everywhere at Mobile Carlos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. All right, guys, I'm going to go play some more Battlefield because i just been wanting to play some. Let's go set.